Uh, my name is Larry Lee. I was born in Chicago in Chinatown before my family relocated to the north side, uptown in Andersonville. And then my father, who worked at Trader Vic's at the Palmer House Hilton Hotel as a barbecue chef. He was someone who cooked the big pig with the apple in the mouth. He had an opportunity to run his own restaurant and uprooted the entire family, oh, kit and caboodle, and we went to South Carolina where I went to high school and then I uh, decided to escape back to Chicago after I transferred out of the University of South Carolina majoring in journalism, which was a huge mistake. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I wanted to become a cartoonist. So the disconnect happened right away. And then we enrolled at the um, University of Illinois at Chicago uh, to become a professional student. I was <laughs> uh, in art education, uh, pre-second baby boom, and then quit that to uh, study graphic design uh, before computers. And then ultimately uh, finished up uh, my degree, uh, a Bachelor of Fine Arts uh, in painting, uh, and then uh, lived life and got married and had no intention of uh, making art. I was actually writing and doing other things, but fell right back into it uh, in the 90s. Uh, saw this poster uh, for a juried show that was going to travel between the cultural centers um, in downtown, north side of Chicago, south side of Chicago, and that lit the, f lit the fire under me. Um, uh, because I had a chance to live in Asia and uh, it was a time that opened my eyes uh, uh, before I was just sort of muddling around pushing pigment around uh, pretending to be um, like a neo-expressionist uh, but uh, found my voice found what I was interested in doing which was uh, taking a look at uh, who I am and where I come from and what it loosely means to be Chinese living uh, in America, in the United States. And it gave me a pretty sarcastic edge. You know, I uh, was the newspaper editor for, at my high school by default, but uh, I guess my claim to fame was that I was a cartoonist and probably not the traditional type. I was um, uh, enamored of and completely spellbound by uh, comic books. And so my editorial cartoons ended up to be superheroish. Uh, and uh, uh, my caricatures uh, tended to be less hyperbolic, but uh, I guess more stinging. Uh, and that, uh, uh, that got me in trouble uh, I, I, on a number of occasions, but uh, I, you know, played the good Asian kid and managed to uh, escape uh, much detention. But um, uh, when I uh, started to think about uh, the work I wanted to make, uh, just growing up, watching so much television, being... Uh, so consumed by uh, watching and trying to play sports. Uh, I guess um, uh, trying to worship heroes is in a way what my work is, 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 is about. Um, uh, going to art school, I can put that in uh, more convoluted art speak. <laughs> but uh, uh, I like to remake things, you know. I uh, see how the originals uh, lacked uh, uh, what I 
would probably think real or authentic representations of of of, of uh, how I grew up and what, what what I saw, and so I I aspire to uh, reconceptualize and recontextualize uh, things that uh, were part of my visual culture that um, is really uh, about. Uh, uh, popular culture and mass media. Um, watching way too much television does it, you know, does that. And then being in Chicago, you know, there's a, a provinciality that uh, I I try to globalize. <laughs> I've known Larry for quite a while, several decades probably, and um, I've always been interested in his art. Um, first time I saw his art was probably at the Hyde Park Art Center, um, and it just struck me the different types of materials he uses, um, the beautiful forms that he achieves, and the underlying message that isn't like like in your face type of message. And so that was kind of like the pieces that were chosen for Cultivator were pieces that are um, some of his larger pieces because of the space. And um, also some of his, some of the pieces that are more um, transportable. <laughs> So uh, what I do is 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 uh, uh, make things, uh, re-examine images, objects, actions that are Asian in origin or or, or associated with an Asian aesthetic that uh, I uh, I translate and update. I try to uh, make it so that it does seem familiar, you know, maybe out of the corner of your eye, and 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 and, and get you to. Uh, uh, think Charlie Chan, you know, uh, is it inscrutable? Uh, you know, is it Zen-like? You know, uh, you know what? Uh, maybe even effeminate. Um, uh, those huge kinds of stereotypes uh, that um, uh, the general public might associate with, uh, you know, being Chinese or Japanese or Korean, East, you know, East Asian, or maybe even, you know, Oriental. But, but uh, uh, I hope I fail, <laughs> you know, because, uh, you know, what I do cannot escape, um, you know, Western popular culture, you know, and in a strange sort, sort of way, uh, it's, it's, it's not like, you know, manga, it's not like anime, you know, where the Japanese have, 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 you know, completely absorbed and, 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 and just regurgitated out as an entirely new form. You know, I want what uh, I uh, uh, chew and spit back out to, uh, uh, to feel like it's been around for a while. Yeah. I, I guess that's the best way to explain it, yeah. We were just kind of envisioning what would look great out in the open. Um, for both Larry and Jason, um, one of the unique things about Cultivator is it allows the, an artist to exhibit outside. And for many of the artists that I've invited to Cultivator, they've never exhibited outside. And Larry's particular pieces hadn't been outside, but seeing them outside, I feel like they were meant to be. 
um, I think they took on um, a really beautiful presence. All right, let's talk about the the international chefs, chefs of mystery. Okay, yeah, that uh, that that happened happened quite by accident. Uh, uh, Jason Dunn and I uh, 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 taught a class accidentally together. What do I mean by that? We both uh, ind independently proposed the class. Uh, a studio class on humor, um, and we, we we we've been friends for for for, for a little while, and uh, said you know let's let's join evil forces. Um, I've heard about nature, um, and I'm happy to be in it. Uh, the, well, it is, we planned that. We did. We planned. Yeah. Well. Again. It became infamous, uh, so that kids were signing up just just so they they they, they could get our uh, our brand of humor. Well, uh, this is, uh, this was the thing where you know when we lectured, we could finish off each other's thoughts. Lucky to receive uh, the huge huge funding yeah. for this very special project today. Uh, you could you you could see. No expense was spared. No. Another friend um, uh, uh, has a gallery that's on hiatus right now, and uh, during the summer would have a group show and um, invited us to uh, uh, be be a part of, of of this extravaganza. And it was a theme it was called booze and and, and bacon. In our inevitable way, we were like, let's do it where we completely misunderstand the prompt. We'll pretend to be pastry chefs baking, uh, except we're so bad that the audience is booing us. And, 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 and that um, uh, uh, explains how the International Chefs of Mystery started. So today's episode is bidding adieu to City Life. We wanted to celebrate a momentous occasion today because your Canadian self, your Canuck, yes, we're no longer spelling color with a U or gray with an E. No. Yes, you are now American. You know, it's yeah. it's uh, Mark, yeah, the, 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 it's the somewhere American, between a bad uh, extended uh, dad yeah, joke yes, and um, uh, uh, improvisation that uh, 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 plays on on, on a, a pair of bumbling idiots. Well, or I mean, that's usually the exchange rate, sir. For the greenback to take themselves way too seriously. The greenback. Yeah, okay. That, that's well, part of. Well, I mean, that's what you getting in exchange for your green car. It's, true. You're, it's a green back with a green car. Yes. Henceforth, today's episode, Green the Acre. Green the Acre. The International Chefs of Mystery uh, earnestly want to use our degrees from Hamburger U to um, try to make cuisine for all of the people. Unfortunately, all of the people might not want what we're cooking up. Canada, can't come up, Canada, Canada, Canada Tim, Tim Horton, Horton, the Prime Minister of Canada, and we just call it bacon there. Yes. So uh, uh, that uh, won't deter us from, again, trying and whenever it's trying to give you good taste uh, and yeah. I, I, I think um, that basically sums up the project uh, yeah uh, taste yeah. Yeah. good or bad yeah. <laughs> <laughs>